Good afternoon, everybody. Coming to the cataract, age related cataract. The senel cataract is the most common type of the cataract and usually occurs before 50 years, but in some families it may occur below 50, 40 years also. Uh, genetic factors may involve in the occurrence of the cataract at the earlier age. Okay. The incidence of the cataract goes up with aging. And it is uh, the most common cause of cause of the blindness. And the whatever may be the cause, the cataract leads to the <coughs> excuse me. Is due to the derangement of the water metabolism as well as the protein metabolism mm -hmm. leads to the opacification of the lens. So the rays of light won't enter into the ocular medium and it is obstructed by the media and won't reach the macula, the sensitive part of the eye. So what will happen? There is no signal transmission from the environment to the macula. So the vision is not possible in such cases. Then why the cataract occurs in some people only, why not in all people? It may be associated with some risk factors. This may be the general age related problem and maybe it is related to the occupation or some diseases, systemic diseases also lead to the formation of the cataract like the diabetes. And the occupational disorders like the in which the ultraviolet radiation uh, plays an important role, and also the in some people who work in uh, uh, whose job is uh, cooking, the heat also leads to the formation of the cataract. And the mostly and some family history which occurs at the lower age group, the family history also takes part in the formation of the cataract. And the nutritional conditions like protein, energy, malnutrition also lead to formation of the cataract. Mm -hmm. And the types of the senile cataract, it is the mainly two types. That is the cortical cataract and the nuclear cataract. The nucleus, the lens is made up of the cortex and the nucleus. The inner part is the oldest part is the nucleus. And when there is a sclerosis, of the nucleus, it leads to also the obstruction of the light rays not to pass into the macula, to the macula, the sensitive part of the retina. And also it may lead to the derangement of the refractive condition of the eye leading to the myopic shift. And also sometimes it may be corrected by the glasses to some extent. And the why the particle cataract is occurring and it is the mainly the hydration and followed by the coagulation of the lens proteins in the cortex. And there are the five stages I already discussed. That is the, because of the hydration, what will happen? Any insult of the epithelium and the cortex will lead to the lamellar separation because of the uh, hydration. So the hydration leads to lamellar separation. 
and then the fact of separation they saw that in this condition there are the each individual uh, lens fiber act as a lens and so the polyopia or sometimes diplopia and all the conditions will occur and if yes era excuse me what was yes yes and then the incipient cataract then lead to the immature senile cataract which is uh, identified by the presence of the some uh, iris shadow due to the presence of the some uh, clear lens fibers and the mature get the differentiation between the senile immature cataract and the mature senile cataract is the presence of the eye
आफ्टरनून मैम मैम वॉइस में बटलर मैम Service called as the sclerotic cataract. What will happen to the cortical cataract? Hydration of the lens leading to the coagulation of the one minute. Half an hour lost the man. Hydration followed by the coagulation of the lens protein. Okay, so what will happen is the depending upon the hydration only, the some of the uh, clinical symptoms are there. Due to hydration, there is polyopia or the diplopia. Why? Because the lens fibers are separated from each other and each lens fiber acts as a separate lens. So we see at a time so many images and this is due to the lamellar separation. Then the lamella after lamellar separation, cataract formation occurs. So it is called as the incipient cataract. Here, what will happen? There are wedge shaped opacities are formed at the periphery of the lens. That is the cataract formation occurs. Wedge shaped opacities. So, in order to see the wedge shaped opacities, we have to dilate the uh, pupil. Then only we see the periphery of the lens. So, first the opacities where they are formed at the lower nasal quadrant of the lens, the opacities are formed. So, we have to see the lower nasal quadrant first. Then the immature senile cataract. In this immature senile cataract, what will happen? The lens become, opacities become more diffuse and lead to the formation of the decrease in the visual acuity. So, but there are still more 
the pineal and fibers of seed. So, the uh, they will uh, the iris will impose a shadow on the clear pat lens fibers, even though there are also cataractus formation in the lens. Okay, so the differentiating point between the immature and the mature senile cataract is the presence of the eye shadow. And then hypermature cataract. But the mature cataract and hypermature cataract, we need not dilate the pupil. Why? Because the typical pearly appearance of the cataract lens will indicate that it is due to the cataract only. That is the cataract. And whereas in the case of the early cataracts, we have to dilate it to see the opacities. And then the mature cataract leads to hypermature cataract. Hypermature cataract is of two types, that the Morgognian cataract and also <coughs> sclerotic hypermature cataract. Okay. the lamellar separation it is demonstrated by the only the early stage is slit lamp examination there the lens fibers are clearly seen with the slit lamp and another thing we have to observe in this case the gray appearance of the pupil is seen okay and then the incipient stage i already described that is the polyopia the symptom which is this present in the incipient cataract is the polyopia and the, in the incipient cataract only, there is polyopia. And there is the immature senile cataract, also polyopia is present. But the, sometimes the patient may complain of the pain. Why? Because the lens is swollen and yes, it's shallow. And then it may lead to the glaucoma. That is the lens-induced glaucoma. And But in this case, because it is immature, immature means there are still no lens fibers or clear lens fibers are seen. So, there is the iris shadow still present in the immature sonal cat, right? Which differentiates it from the mature sonal cat. Here, the anterior chamber is shallow. And in the incipient cataract, also the anterior chamber is shallow. It is the mature sonal cataract, this is the anterior chamber is shallow. And there is the mature sonal cataract, the complete opacification. The whole cortex is involved in this mature sonal cataract, this whole cataract is formed. So, what is it? Is it audible? 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 I have a question. Sharing Microsoft. Okay. And then whole cortex is involved. Okay. The lens appears poly white in color. Okay, okay, okay. And this is also known as the right cataract. And the hypermature cataract, the cortex is disintegrated and leading to the pultaceous material formation. And this is the Morgognian cataract and the sclerotic hypermature cataract. And what is happening here is that in the case of the Morgognian cataract, this is the pupil. And this is occupied the, the pearly uh, white uh, uh, appearance of the pupil. And this is the this is the capsular bag. The pearly white appearance of the pupil is due to the capsular bag occupied with the liquefied cortex. And at the bottom of the capsular bag, there is hard substance. This is the nothing but the nucleus and so the cortex is liquefied and the lens is a nucleus is separated from the cortex and it settled down okay and then the in addition to that on the capsule there are some white specks of seeing there are nothing but calcium deposits on the anterior capsule of the lens and then another type is hypermature cat it's a, another type of the hypermature cataract is the sclerotic hypermature character. The previously we discussed is the hypermature.